Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Crow AI. What is Crow AI and how it works? And a free example of it on running on Google Collab, and you actually can use this code to to run it on in your own machine. Crow AI currently have thirty k stars, so it's very good actually. Library, it's open source. It's built on top of some of the language chain functionality, especially the agents. It as it promotes itself as a cutting edge framework for orchestrating role playing autonomous AI agent. So it's have not just one agent that is working, there are multiple of them, and they, this is why it's called Crew AI. What is the key features of the Crew AI? Normal agent just to have one agent that work on the task and give you the outcome in the end, but Crew AI have multiple agents. As you can see, they can talk to each other and they have access to tools. And the process of each agent is defining how the agent will work together and how the task will be assigned and the interaction between them and how they will perform the work. And finally, the task, which is the last part of this, how it's work. Task can be override agent to always the specific one that should be used and also have a specific agent to tackle them. For example, we task an agent to search for something, while the other agent will calculate uh, something for us. Based on the tools that they have, they can do this task. And finally, we have the outcome of our Crow agents. According to language chain article I found about Crow AI, how it works, behind the scene, each Crow AI agent is essentially a language chain agent. But with the React single input our parser. This parser specifically modified to better support role playing. You can take the, the role that it assigned to seriously, like if you wanted to play the role of data analysis or a CEO analysis, it will do better than the normal agent that language chain have. The fact that agents are built on top of language chain creates the flywheel effects the main one being that the, they get access to all the language chain tools and toolkits out of the box. And this is alone already unlocks many use cases. So this is very powerful if you think about it. That will give, go, using Crow AI will give you access to all the language chain tools and toolkits. And that will make our life much easier. My example will be very simple and straightforward. We're going to use Crow AI with Gemini Pro. You can use it with open source model also from Hugging Face or Olama. I'm going to show you where you can get the code for that. And also you can use it, of course, with OpenAI. But I'm using Gemini Pro because honestly, it's have a very good free tier. Like you can use it basically unlimited, but you don't have to break the request per minute, which I think is right now 15 per minute. Like you have to do just 15 requests per minute and it will be free. More than that, you have to start to pay money. We're going to use DuckDuckGo search. I'm going to show you how you can use it with Crow AI. I got a couple of errors when I'm working with it, but I fixed it. And of course, like Shein, Google Generative AI, which to access Gemini Pro. You can actually, um, after this, this first part of the code, you can use the rest of the code to write it in a normal Bison and it will run with you. We're gonna import the stuff that we need from crew AI, Asian, Task, the crew, the process, and from the machine, the chat, GB, the chat, Google Generative AI. And here I'm defining Generative AI, what model I'm using, the picture, uh, put your API key over here. And after that, I'm setting the tools that I'm going to use. This is how you set the tools inside crew AI using crew AI tools. I think here it's in the Documents, as you can see, I found this in the documents from Crew AI tools, board tools, and define the tool name and uh, the functionality of it. So I'm using DuckDuck search code because it's for free and it's easy also to use. It will return this function and how it works. Now set up in the agent or our researcher. You can use this example or there is a lot of example actually. You can find here, for example, the research analyst. And you can find uh, more example in Crow AI examples. You can come here and select what you want. But I'm using this one. It's a common one. I've seen it too many times on YouTube here. 
We set it the role, it's in your search analysis, the goal that it should go for, and the backstory of it. You can set verbose, false, or true, but we want it to true so we can see how it's working in the background and allow the location. We, as I said, the agent can delegate tasks between them, but right now I set it to false. And here is the part that's most important, the LLM that we using. You can use actually Olama is here or chat GBT open AI models. And here you can also in the documentation, as you can see, you can use again face integration and also here Olama integration. There is multiple integration, so it's not limited. You can use a lot of stuff here, which is very cool. And another agent called the writer. The writer, it's role, tech content strategist, and the goal of it to craft compelling content on tech advancement. And also, same thing, but we don't give it the tools. The tools that we bought for the first one, for the researcher, he need to access the web because it's searching. And the tool is the one that we created over here, is our function from DuckDuckGo. This is the only two engines that we have, the writer and the researcher. The first task we have, we have to give the task description and expected output and what type of agent the task will be basically working with. We assigning this task for the researcher and the second task to the writer. Also, it have to take description, the expected output, and of course, which agent will work with. And finally, uh, basically the most important part creating the crew itself the crew take all the agent that we have the researcher and the writer and what task it will have the task one for researcher and task two for writer and here you can set different kind of value for verbose it's one or two but two will give you more information results we're going to use it to bring the output eventually here q dot kick off this how you start your crew uh, working the first part of this results is going to be the first agent as you can see it started to entering a crew execution chain which from language chain as you can see the action duck duck go search the input ai advancement in 220 in 2024 give you this results then it keep going with breakthrough technology and now i have the final answer it's search for this AI advancement in 2024, key trends, breakthrough, technology, and potential industry impacts. So it start to get this key trends here, over here, and the breakthrough technology, and it lists them, quantum computing, neuromorphic computing, I never heard about it, blockchain, I'm not sure what is new about blockchain and AI, and potential industry impact. So the advancement of AI 2024 expected major impact and it lists the healthcare, manufacturing, finance and conclusion shaping up to be the year of AI. And here finished the chain. Basically the first agent is done with its task. And it tell you as you can use in your search analysis task output this all stuff that he give us. Now that's that. The first agent is done with the first task is searching. Now let's take a look to the second agent. What is going to do? Entering new crew agent execution chain. Final answer. Immediately it gives you this. It wrote a blog kinda and the finish chain and give you this blog AI advanced in 2024. A game changer for tech and beyond. Basically, this is the article title and the enter of the title, uh, the blog. And the key trends of this blog and the advancement and the outro or the conclusion of the blog itself 2024, 2024 is poised to be a year of AI, the key trends, pre show technology, and so on. So I finally printed the results and it gave me just a blog. You can use this actually to create blogs or write about product. I can use this actually in another uh, idea that I just came up in my mind to do an app with it but that is for later and that's it basically how you can create an accru ai it's very simple from this here to until you install your library that you need you can actually use this rest of code the rest of code in your machine normally but you need the google ABI key to use it one more thing crew ai actually can allow you to turn your agent to an ABI over here 
it's the enterprise level the open source is what we did is basically creating our own tool and creating the model that we want and here it can turn to be an api use it to consume it in an app or a web and this is very cool also i think you can build an api also using the open source but you have to host it on your own and i think it's very powerful what it can do so that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed and learned something new my name is Hussam Dean or simply can you call me Sam and see you in the next video.